One thing a lot of people come to me asking about is accent. How to understand different accents, how to speak with a British accent, how to get rid of their own accent. I do understand the attraction of uh, native accents, whether that's British or American or Australian. In my case, of course, I have a British accent, but I would say that it's somewhat neutral, especially when I speak to clients and students. And of course that can change, you know, if I'm speaking to someone who is of a lower level, then I will slow down my speech. I will give them time to understand each word, each sentence, and then I will start to slowly speed up as they become more able to understand, as they become more capable, as they improve their listening skills. But I will check this and make sure that I'm doing it at a pace which is suitable for them. Of course, when I'm speaking to people from my own country, from my hometown, for example, I will then slip into that vernacular more readily, more easily. The pace will become more natural. Then if you're out at a social event or a meeting where several people are talking at the same time, that's going to add another element of difficulty to it. So people often ask me, what's the best way to do this, to do that? I will say the best way to improve a certain thing is to practice at that specific thing. So really to improve in a group setting, you've got to practice in a group setting. That's one reason that I have my professional English mastermind group every week. But also it's why I encourage people to go out and use the English which they've got in the real world. So that's all for today. There's a motorbike coming down here and let's cut it there.